update. My life derailed thanks to my wife's infidelity. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Update. My life derailed thanks to my wife's infidelity. Hi everyone. It's been about a week since I decided this would be the place I would open my heart up and share the hell I've been going through since D-Day in the hopes that somebody out there identify with my story and have some positive advice for how this old dog should proceed. TLDR Wife of 12 years cheated last year. D-Day happened on night of our anniversary in April thanks to a mysterious data dump in my Facebook inbox. The past several days have been a wild roller coaster ride of emotions for me. Since I shared my story, I've taken each and every bit of wisdom and advice this community has offered and greatly appreciate the support, both within the comments thread and in my DMs. I'm happy to report the following. I have no SDIs, my three children are mine, and I've visited with a divorce lawyer to explore my options. Should I decide to go that route? Why 41 female and I, 41 male, are making very slow progress in marriage counseling. Our therapist seems to think I'm taking an abnormal amount of time to accept what has happened and begin the process of forgiveness and moving forward. Wife agrees and has said so on multiple occasions. I've become increasingly suicidal in the past few days, feeling as though nobody understands my pain, nor do they want to. I've also been very angry, especially when it comes to my wife's willingness, via texts, etc., to throw herself at the AP sexually, while making me essentially beg for it. I've told her on multiple occasions that I want her to want me like she wanted him, that I wanted the kind of spontaneous sexual enticement she offered him so effortlessly. In so many words, I'm insanely jealous of what he got with very little of any try. She gets defensive when the subject comes up, explain that I can get these things in time. But I'm forcing the issue and making it unnatural because I keep wanting to talk about it. I explain that as her husband and as a man. It's a very hard pill for me to swallow and is one of a few things that I feel is holding me up in my road to forgiveness. Last night, we had a big fight. I walked away, took a drive, and she started texting me. Eventually, I responded. Then when it started to get heated, she called me. It got worse. We yelled at each other over the phone. I told her I didn't want to live like this anymore. And she gave me a whatever response. Told me I was crazy and needed to calm down. I drove home, ready for another confrontation. Full disclosure, I was completely amped up emotional, but have never and will never lay a hand on my wife. It was the words, again, she told me I was crazy, became very cold and calculated in her responses to me, repeating several mantras over and over again like a robot. When I told her I'd be visiting a lawyer first thing on Monday morning and wanted to disclose the affair to everyone in our social circle, that up to this point, haven't been informed. She threatened me with a video she says she has from years ago of me yelling at her in the car with our kids present. A threat of sorts? Then she claimed I was more worried about my image than anything else. I couldn't believe my ears. Last weekend, I talked her into letting me see her phone. She gave it to me reluctantly for about three minutes until she realized... I was browsing her Google history. Then she got furious and demanded her phone back. She snapped. Before I gave it back, I found a recent Google search of her rapist's name twice within two minutes. She claimed it was probably an autofill mistake, but I'm not stupid. Last Sunday was the one-year anniversary of her meeting him. This was the start of the suicidal thoughts. I drove off that afternoon and spent a few hours alone ignoring multiple texts and calls. 
She figured out where I was eventually, and we had a very long talk. It felt like the wife I married again. She was listening, she was understanding, and very empathetic. She was affectionate and offered to prove to me, once and for all, that this would never happen again. She even took me out for ice cream. That night was the most enjoyable one I'd had since D-Day. I finally felt she got me and would I finally do her part to make the situation better and help fix our marriage. But as you've already read, it all fell apart. I'm sorry this post has been so scatterbrained and frantic. But I'm scared of where my head's at right now and whether or not it's okay to feel what I've been feeling and why. Furthermore, are her words and actions appropriate of what's happening? Finally, I'll mention she backtracks very quickly when it becomes apparent that I'm dead serious about divorce. She's definitely afraid of it. Not sure what exactly scares her. Maybe that it could become ugly in terms of discovery process. She still has a lot she's hiding from me, I'm convinced. Keeping it quiet requires us staying together, at least that's what my gut tells me. Thank you for reading. Hopefully my next update will be more focused. Hope you're having a great day.